Hi again. Um, I hope that uh, last clip was okay that you watched. Um, I do apologize for the cheesiness. It was extremely cheesy. But um, I hope, I hope um, the way it sort of broke down the concept of critical social education um, made it a bit more helpful um, for you to try and get the concept, to get the theory into your head. Okay. So this lecture now, um, we're gonna we're gonna move away a little bit from the theory, and we're going to start. We're going to basically pose the question as you can see in front of you. What is youth work? Okay, so hopefully um, this is something that we can have a conversation about when we all get together. I think that will be really interesting because it's not as simple as what is youth work and then here we are, here's the answer because um, like we see, different countries have different ideas of what youth work is, some similarities, some differences um, and my focus I suppose for the next couple of lectures is to look at um, obviously the three countries um, that we have involved here in this module which is Ireland, England and um, Greece. So we will have a look and we will see what different people in those different countries are saying about what is youth work. So um, while I'm talking as well I, I, I hope that you you have a think about what you define as youth work and I suppose it's a it's a really important question in regard to um, us being professionals, as some of us being professionals, some of us being volunteers, because we have, uh, I have had conversations with youth workers, um, Irish youth workers, youth workers from different countries, and while we talk about often similarities in values and principles, how we go about it, um, why we sometimes end up doing it, or why we say we do it, can be different from each other and I don't know if you've had the same experience but that's been my experience so um, yeah it's really important I think at this point um, to look at before we we can start looking at youth work through a theoretical lens um, um, and uh, with the use of the different paradigms that we've looked at that we actually look at what we ourselves define as youth work okay and particularly when you have a mix of people who are doing it professionally people who are doing it part-time professionally people who are doing it voluntarily okay our conceptions of what youth work is could be vastly different from each other okay so what is youth work okay so i want you to be having a think about this um throughout this module through, throughout this lecture and throughout this module what is youth work what do we see so when people ask me what is youth work, I don't know if you've ever said to them, well, it's so yeah, sort of like social work, mm, sort of like social care. Do you often find yourself comparing it to another social profession? Okay, um, and then when people see youth work, what do they see? What do people see when they see youth work? Well, like this, they see this photo, they see people maybe baking, cooking. Oh, so it's a bit of cooking with young people. Okay. Oh, so it's playing soccer with young people, it's playing games with young people. That's youth work. Okay, right. So it's playing games, it's cooking. It's doing icebreakers and games with young people. Okay, so that's youth work. Summer camps, it's running summer camps, snack time, all these different things. This that's what youth work is. That's that's what people see when they see the youth worker and they see the young people. So this is what they see. They see the games of soccer. They see the games of basketball. They see the cooking and the baking, the bake sales. They see the summer camps, okay? They see, um, you know, um, a youth worker working with young people around maybe um, who they are and what they want to be, okay? So, sorry, just before I go on to that. Is this what youth work is? Is youth work the summer camp, the icebreakers? the uh, playing the soccer game or the basketball game? Is it the bake sale and the cooking? It's all of these. It's all of these are used, but the, they are not the youth work. They are used as the medium to for youth work to happen, aren't they? So the baking and the cooking and the game of soccer and the icebreakers, they are all used for us to build, for us as youth workers to build that relationship. So they are used as mediums. So it's, I don't know if you've ever gotten from people, oh, isn't it great being a youth worker? You can go and, um, you can go and uh, do a bit of cooking. 
Oh, sure, they have the game of soccer. That's great. That must be great being in soccer. But why are we doing these things? We're doing them in order to try and meet young people where they're at, like we've said, engage with young people and start to build those relationships and build that trust with the young person so they have, um, so that they get to know us and that they can share a bit more about themselves with us and that we can work with them around their, their self-development, okay? And this is where this last sign probably is more closely related to what we believe we're doing long term. So all the other things, the games, the baking, the cooking, they're all consequences of the process of youth work and they're part of the process of youth work, but they're not the youth work. So what is the youth work? The youth work is around self-development, it's around building the confidence, around building the self-esteem, okay? So what people, what people generally see as youth work, when you see a youth worker and you see young people, you see the game being had. So just looking at, we're just going to start by looking at different countries and their different definitions of youth work. So I'm going to start with Ireland, okay, because Ireland is the only country out of the three countries that has um, an actual, um, has a youth work act so that we have, we have an actual legislative um, definition of what youth work is. And this is what we, as, as the Irish youth workers know, this is what we work under. Um, this particular definition of youth work and it frames our work with young people, okay? So, um, different countries, there's different yet similar definitions. So, um, in a form of framework such as in Ireland, it's the Youth Work Act 2001, okay? So, there was a lot of work, I suppose, that came and I'll go into that, that came into the Youth Work Act becoming an act in 2001. There was, um, um, work was done in the, the throughout the 80s and the 90s in regard to actually getting a youth work act put in um, for youth work and defining what is youth work so it's to be fair um, and, and there's different criticisms and different pros and cons to this act but I suppose at the end of the day we have an act that we can that we can use in order to frame our work with young people and that is acknowledged which is really important that is acknowledged by government as as youth work and and gives some sort of definition clear definition to what youth work is to politicians to the government so in ireland um as the irish youth workers know youth work um is defined as under the act as a planned program of education designed for the purpose of aiding and enhancing the personal and social development of young persons through their voluntary involvement which is a complementary to their formal academic and vocational training and b provided primarily by voluntary organizations now again like i said that that is the definition that is what professional youth workers voluntary youth workers work under um I, I would suggest have a think about it. What do you think? You may already have thoughts about it. Does it describe what youth workers do? Does it describe what youth work does? Um, are there parts of it that are good or are there parts of it that could be reshaped? Um, without me saying any more, I would suggest that you have a look at it and have a think about it and go back to what what we were saying in the last lecture in, in regard to thinking critically. So think critically about the definition and think, is it a good definition? Is it, you know, is it something that could be improved or is it something that is pretty good already and and just might need a little bit of tweaking okay so in the british context so in in britain and greece there's no formal definition no no formal youth work act at present but in the british context how youth work um has been like it says conceptualized there is and this is in, in Jean Spence's article, which I'll give to you within the next couple of lectures as well. So, conceptualizing youth work as a social education of the adolescent, okay? So, it's hitting on that social aspect of education, okay, with with um, a teenager. Um, and that it came to preeminence after the second... Excuse me. Uh, uh, after the Second World War as a means of helping young people, okay? To develop socially during their leisure time okay i'll be giving you like i said i'll be giving you articles which um which consider the which look at the the historical background of the social professions and um youth work itself the prime concern of social education 
it says, is with any young person's meetings with others, with his capacity in these meetings to accept others, others and be accepted by them and about the common interests around which these meetings may revolve. So, again. So, um, is, again, is this what, is this what we, is this what, is this helpful in the definition of what youth work is? Is this in a British context? Is a British youth worker something that you would would um, work under? Do you see similar? Do you see? Is it familiar to yourselves in Greece? Is it familiar to the Irish youth workers? Okay, so following on within a British context, according to Davies and Gibson, the dynamic of social education is in relationships. Okay, so keyword there, as we know, is relationships, and the primary objective of youth work is to enable young people to discover how to contribute as well as take from his and as it says it says his so I, I just I think that's interesting so just take note of that from his what about her association with others okay so um these are just this is just a bit of food for thought okay but do you see um do you see uh it's their essence of what you would see as youth work and I think this is really important if you know to, to think about these definitions and these conceptions of youth work if you're doing youth work full-time part-time um professionally um you know maybe you work at something else and um maybe youth work is new enough to you but it's just something to to consider when you're when we're talking about youth work so youth work isn't social work youth work isn't teaching youth work isn't um a lot of things but do we need to continue to compare youth work to another social profession in order to give it in order to give a definition or can we already give a de definition is in, in its own right okay and i think that's important so in greece dora gianaki um says and i'll give you this reading as well over the next few lectures that youth work does exist as a social practice it constitutes an integral part of educational and welfare endeavors and plays a significant role in supporting young people's safe and healthy transition to adult life okay so the range of activities that are self-consciously described as youth work includes health, social support, counselling, education and training, personal development, information, career services and so on. So again, here I suppose my my critiquing um, of this would be around, would be to look at the range of activities that are self-consciously described as youth work. So is that... Do we say that they are youth work? So health, social support, counselling, are they youth work? Or, do, or does youth work happen within these um, sectors, within these um, spaces, within the spaces of health, social support, counselling, or are they youth work? Okay, again, a bit of food for thought, something for you to think about. Youth work values, Kylie says, are defined as universal and informal. They are the values which hopefully most of us are familiar with here as empowerment, equality, inclusiveness, respect, um, involved, involve young people in decision making, partnership and voluntary participation. Okay, so these are the youth work values that we work by. Okay, so where these happen, how they happen and what spaces they happen is, is part of the questions that we need to ask ourselves for youth work. Okay, Davies outlines the features of practice then and I hope these look familiar too as young people choose to be involved. So it's a voluntary endeavour. Um, it starts where young people are at, seeking to motivate and support them to go beyond these starting points into new experiences and learning, developing trusting relationships with young people and tipping balances of power and control in young people, okay, so that we as the adults don't have the control and the power that we set up a situation that it's, it's in the young people, the ball is in their court, that they have the control around what's happening to them. To them about them with them in a youth work space okay so it's tipping those balances which in general in their in their everyday lives the balance of power is tipped to society and adults in society not so much the young people okay working with the diversity of young people for equity of responses promoting equality of opportunity and diversity working with them through young people's friendship groups and looking at youth work as a process so um, reflective practice, sorry, disciplined improvisation. And as Davy said, it's well prepared and highly disciplined, yet improvised. And while responding sensitively to the signals and prompts of others, it continues to express the worker's own intentions, insights, ideas, feelings, and flair. Okay. 
So please watch the YouTube clip on what is youth work now.